Hello Eurovision fans, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today I want to rate the Maltese entry for Eurovision 2023 and that is The Busker with their song Dance My Own Party. I will be looking at different aspects of the song and performance and as always I will be giving points and also predict whether Malta can qualify to the grand final in Liverpool. Now, the first aspect I want to look at are the lyrics, and I like them quite a lot because I can identify with them quite a bit, and I think some of you might too. So let's have a look together. Wait up, he sings. Can you speak up? It's a little bit loud. I'm a little bit lost. Oh, effed up might be the drinks or the social teas of anxiety. I can identify with this first sentence. I'm a little bit lost, and it seems very loud very very much i feel like that a lot at parties especially as i get older so um, i really like where this song is going and then later on he sings if you're keen get some indoor shoes i can offer you get you in the groove the tension is lifted another moment would have been too much it's the real me my own party so basically inviting people to his house to continue the party and feel less social anxiety and be able to actually talk to people and the sentence he repeats the most is obviously I feel better in my sweater so I feel better at home I think is what that is supposed to say so as I said I really really like it and he's still dancing at home he you can have fun at home with your friends no problem so I'm giving five out of five stars because I really like these lyrics now for the voice I think it's competent he has a good indie voice I think quite standard, nothing too extraordinary. There are some moments where it could be cleaner and he's a bit off key, I feel like, but overall it's okay. So I'm giving three out of five points for the voice. Now the personality um, is obviously very important in this kind of performance, I think. I think the lead singer is very good looking, but you still get the nerdy feel that they want to project. Um, they look like really fun guys and it really comes across in the performance. Um, I think you could improve the impact of the personality and of their personalities by having uh, some better camera work, Malta. And, but I, they can easily achieve that, I think, in Eurovision. And so I really think that people can connect to them and to the message of the song. So I'm giving four out of five points. If you do the camera work better, I could give five. Now, the performance, it reminds me of Iceland in 2020, 2021, nerdy, a bit. The first uh, impression I had, maybe because I'm watching it at the moment, is it looks a bit Big Bang Theory with their sweaters on the couch. And I like that quite a lot. There's lots of references to nerd culture with the computer game playing in the middle of the song and also the GIFs in the background really like it um, and the pixelated characters on the cushions really remind me of Iceland 2020 and 2021 so uh, I think really well done I like the sweaters and I think that the reveal at the end of the glittery sweater um, is really effective and really fun so I'm giving four out of five points for the performance now the song it's uh, a fun indie song. I like the saxophone in it. Um, I like the breaks in the chorus where they stop and turn around. Well done and well thought out, but it's a bit repetitive. I think if people get into it and really feel it, they could like it. But to, for me, um, after two minutes, it's a bit too repetitive. They worked out the performance well because you have the different acts that are shown on the screen at the party, at home and so on. So that helps, but the song could be a bit more varied, I think, in certain parts. So I'm giving two out of five points for the song. As you can see, song and performance are weighed a little bit more than the other parts because I think they're just more important for Eurovision. So you get an overall rating of three and one quarter because um, it's actually 3.25 and usually I round up or down and in this case I'm giving the fraction. So three and a quarter star. Now I want to talk about my prediction for Malta in Eurovision 2023. 
can it qualify? As I said, I think people can identify with it, especially nerds who get the references to nerd culture. It's a fun song. It's engaging. It's all televote. So I would say, yes, Malta can qualify. We always have to remember that um, two thirds of the songs get to qualify. So it's actually not that hard. And I think they do have enough appeal for them to make it. There are a lot of male-led and all-male bands this year, which is quite surprising. But um, still, I think they can stand out enough. For the final, I think they might not stand out enough to get that many televotes. So I'm predicting 15th to 20th place, maybe a bit higher, maybe a bit lower. But that's my prediction for the moment. What do you think about the song? Is there something I'm missing? Something about the band I should know? please leave a comment. And if you want more reviews, predictions, lyric interpretations for Eurovision 2023 and videos on Eurovision history, please subscribe to my channel and see you soon. Bye-bye.